This episode was brought to you by the Earth Story crew on Patreon. I'm here by the coast in Athens, and I heard that there was a captain potentially looking for a crew. Right there. Hey! Dylan! Joy, welcome aboard. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yamas. Oh, you yeah, still home. Right there. Right there. Wow. For the next two months. Okay. Nice. Thank you uh, for having me aboard. It's, uh, it's an honor. Icy feta, marinated anchovies, smoked mackerel. Delicious. All of them. I'm from the UK, but I've been living in Thailand the last seven months, okay. and, uh, and Bali, and what do I do? Many things. I uh, work with medicine from the Amazon rainforest. Life as a sailor is both easy and hard to get used to, but sipping local spirits with some new friends ain't a bad first day. Yeah. Who's uh, drinking chipuro? Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. I'll have some. He's not the money. He's the guy who wants yeah. to spend his life doing something good. Now I can do it cheap because it's like, who cares? I'll just do it. Like, it's okay if it's rough. Are you okay with the 12 meter boat and being sweaty? You know, I'm young, so I'm not tolerate a lot. Sailing vessel Arianrod. My home for the next two months. On this day, she took us along the Attic Peninsula to the Temple of Poseidon. So we're gonna go sail down through here, through here, across here. There's a tiny little island, we'll sail in between that and then anchor right there. If it's anything like intense, just go use the head. If the head's gonna make you sick, go back here. Hold on to the davit. Like even right now, don't go up there to pee. If it's like dead calm, then you can go pee off the side. coast of the mainland and now we're heading to Kithnos. It's gonna be about a five-hour sail. As we set off for Kithnos, I said many prayers to the god of the sea. I didn't record any of the sail yesterday uh, from mainland Athens to Kithnos and yeah good winds, made pretty good time. Uh, the only unfortunate part was that I was puking basically the entire time. Barfing violently, actually, non-stop, for five hours. Last night was cool. We um, snorkeled to shore just a short distance, and went to a hot springs, yeah, just hung out. It was cool. Don't let cool on-camera Troy fool you. I was terrified coming out here. I hardly even knew how to swim, but having two brothers always watch my back, that felt good. We're to the island of Syros, leaving Kithanos right now. Slowly, slowly, we'll make it over to Syros. 30 miles today. Moving by boat is intense. Every mile is one hard-earned. In a car, you lose track of hours. By sail, you feel every single minute. On our second real sail, I finally started to get some sea legs. Aside a couple waves of nausea, I felt absolutely grand through some fairly choppy water, where waves crashed spectacularly over the bow. We sailed into a protected bay on the western side of Syros, ready for food and even more drink. A lot of good information on um, 
seamanship as such. If you care to learn anything about the weather, the Yachtsman's Weather Manual, this was written in like the 70s. Actual sailing textbooks from the sailing school that I went to briefly. Everything in a single pot and it's just a mix of stuff. It's called Burgoo, sailing term. Burgoo. We awoke early, skirting around the southern side of Syros to reach the idyllic city of Ermopolis on its eastern shores. With seafaring life, bonds grow fast. In such a small space, you swiftly learn about yourself and those around you. True character reveals itself quickly in open water, and I felt damn lucky to live alongside Dylan and Danny. Ermopolis grows on you as something more essential and Greek than it other tourist-oriented places. Hermopolis repays a wander around the back streets where neoclassical buildings and ship owners' mansions are impressive, although crumbling here and there. The quay is alive all day and night with a wide choice of bars and cafes to while away the time. Watching the ferries churn in and out of the harbor. In the back streets and around the west quay are some old-fashioned oozeries and cafes while the East Quay and the east side of the Old Town are some traditional taverns. Surprisingly, docking is one of the riskiest activities in boat life. Navigating into often narrow marina slips, avoiding scrapes against multi-million dollar yachts, it's nerve-wracking to say the least. And God help you if there's a strong wind pushing your vessel everywhere besides where you want it to go. We settled in for a much needed respite on land. Good old solid ground. That oddly enough wouldn't stop swaying after being on the sea for three days. Until we got some drinks in us. Sailing is thirsty work. So we just finished our meal, got some beers. I'm now walking through the alleyways of Hermopolis. Uh, Dolan sent me on a quick task to figure out what time we can check out of the country, check out of Greece because his visa's expiring, so yeah, that's where I'm headed to right now. Just do that real quick and then go do a bit of exploration. Okay, so the port police or port authority where you have to go check in is, um, they're closed. So the police officer sent me to a church I'm supposed to go find. Uh, that's where I'm headed to now see if it uh, is open. Looks like this is a dead end. Hermopolis is the largest port city of the Cyclades Islands, a sparkling town built up into the hills and seemingly made of ivory. It felt like heaven, and no less blinding too in the scorching Aegean sun. Uh, I just settled in for a quick cappuccino. And I am resuming my search for the Port Authority, so let's go. The city was established in the 1820s during the Greek War of Independence against the Ottoman Empire. A revolution sparked by the wealth generated through Greek sailors and merchants. Young Greeks were then sent to study in Western European universities, coming into contact with ideas like European Enlightenment and the French Revolution. Education once again brought home to shake off the shackles of oppression. Um, well, it says this building behind me is Port Authority, but it looks pretty abandoned, so don't think that's it. I'm gonna keep looking, but I don't think I'm gonna find it here, so... Mission failed? Once the sun goes down here, the sleepy daytime town turns into a buzzing outdoor club, centered around the marina. There was all manner of things for us three to see, smell, and taste. And these two gentlemen have some serious appetites. Living by the sea has many perks. Here are just a few of them. Fresh, tangy sardines and lemon juice, smoked mackerel, drunken rooster, spicy sausages, plump, juicy, and unbearably delicious mussels. Life here is good. One for ye, and una para me.
basically the five minute journal. I just adapted a little bit to uh, this boat and our situation. So we do it as a group, whoever's on the boat every morning and every evening. It's basically a gratitude journal and um, like thanking the people around you. With fair winds and Armopolis astern, our sails cracked forward, suspending Arianrod perfectly between the sky and the sea toward Mykonos.